Determining soil color, we're going to do the Exarbon soil profile here, and this is done with the Munsell color pages. And we've previously looked at this and compared 10 yellow red and 2.5 yellow for color matches, and we think maybe the 2.5 yellow is going to work best. Starting here at the top soil, this soil is pretty dry, it's air dry. So we'll try it with a dry and then we'll go to a moist color. Near the top, we're going to be looking to be 2.5 yellow. Value will be 4 or 3 and chroma 2. Make your determination and record on your data sheet for the topsoil at a depth of about 8 centimeters. Moving to 25 centimeters, not a lot of change. We're getting farther down the profile. And this one, if I can find a good spot, is going to be darker than 5. Pretty close right here, maybe. Not a lot of difference from above. I'm going to say again 2.5 and 3 and 2. 2.5 Y, 3 and 2. If it looks different to you, make your best determination. Here at 45 centimeters, I think we're going to be able to stay on the same color page. 2.5. Y, 4, and 2. Continuing with dry soil down to 70 centimeters. A little bit different color here. Now our chroma is increasing. And the value here looks to be between 4 and 5 for value still on the 2.5 yellow page, and chroma, 4. And on down to about 95 centimeters, we've got evidence of oxidation reduction or redox features. You can see by the reddish speckles and concentrations of oxidized iron in here. But the matrix color is going to be Oh, let's see. Previously, I had identified this as 2.5, 6, and 4 as my best match. And these are dry colors. So I'll let you look that over and make your pick. I picked 2.5, Y, 6, and 4. Let's spray a little water on here. We start at the bottom, and when you wet things down, you know wet soil is a little darker. It's absorbing more light. So as we go and wet that down, that's exactly what happens. How does that change our colors? Well, they're darker, so the value will be lower. And I think our hue is still pretty good here. I'm thinking uh, 2.5Y, value 4, chroma 4. Kind of in between these two values. I'm going to say, you make the call. OK, moving back up to where we were previously, about oh, 60 centimeters. Let's get this wetter. Rarely does the hue change, but the value in chroma could, especially the value. Well, let's see. I don't think it 
looks as good as it did before when it was dry. Let's try it with the yellow red page. The yellow red page and the moist aggregate. I think this is a little closer to a 10YR33. Very close match there. So, 10YR33 at around 50 centimeters here for a moist color. I write that on my data page. And up at the topsoil, if we wet this down, that organic humus in there really darkens things up. And I'm going to go back to the 10 yellow red page here, see if we get anything. And I'm going to go 25 centimeters. Definitely dark. I like the match on the 10 yellow red 3 and 2. Of course, if you're thinking it's 2 and 2, you probably could make an argument for that as well. That's another name for very dark brown. So up at the very top, that's about as dark as we can get on the page. So I'm going to call that 10YR value between 2 and 3, and chroma very low also at 1 or 2 for the moist soil. Okay, the next thing we'll do on the next video is organic matter.